What's up, Scorpio? What's up, twins? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, this is going to be messages from music from your divine feminine and your divine masculine. I just completed this deck. This is just for my twins. It's a twin flame music deck. And I have some different songs in here that kind of explains the twin flame journey. So, for some of you guys that are still trying to figure out, you know, if you're on a twin flame journey or not, these messages to music will possibly help you, you know, be able to decide that better. Okay, you guys, let's get started. What messages to music do you have for my Scorpios today? Okay, so the first song we have here is Music, Teach Me How to Love. So I feel like, Scorpio, right now, your divine masculine and your divine feminine is saying that they are ready for love, but they need you to teach them how to love. I feel like in the past, However, your divine masculine and your divine feminine, whether this is from childhood or whether this was dealing from other people in relationship, it was like they really knew they really did not know the true definition of love. It was like their definition of love or what was shown to them was a fucked up definition of love. So when they met you, guess what? They treated you with that same fucked up energy of love. You know, that they were used to giving. And this is also love they're used to receiving. You know what I'm saying? A person can only give you what they know. So they, if the person is a product of their environment, they've gone through abandonment issues, or, you know, if they haven't been treated right when it comes to love, well, that's what they're going to project onto you. So in this song, it says, I was told the true definition of a man was to never cry, keep my feelings inside, shadow them with my pride. So I feel like your divine masculine, your divine feminine, take the energy how it resonates because just because, I mean, a masculine can be in a feminine energy. But I feel like because of your twins past, their childhood, it was like maybe, you know, if this is your divine masculine, maybe they were taught as a man that a real man, you know, they don't cry. They don't show their true feelings. When you cry, when you show your true feelings, you a punk. You know what I'm saying? And I hate that as a stigma, especially in the black community, but in any community as a man, it's like, it's okay for a man to cry. Like, no, nah, you don't want no man to never just cry at the damn drop of a hat all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you gonna be crying more than me. But it's okay if we can sit here and cry together. So I feel like your twin was someone who held their emotions inside. I feel like if this person, if they cried over this connection, they damn sure didn't let nobody see them, Scorpio. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm so confused. I've been doing water signs, Scorpio. I don't forgot who the hell I'm reading for. Scorpio, this person did not want to allow you to see how much they really love you. This person possibly never explained to you how much they really cared. This person probably never even showed you, you know, how they really felt about you because this person was told as a young person, as, as a young child, that a real man doesn't cry. They keep their feelings inside. So this is someone who held... All their feelings they felt for you inside, Scorpio. This person didn't, explain, didn't tell you shit. You know, in school, when you had them little, you asked the question, do you like me, check box, yes or no? You probably wrote that shit down. That motherfucker didn't check down box. You're like, but well, damn, what the hell did this mean? So it was like, this person was full of pride. I feel like this person, whether it was divine masculine or divine feminine, it was like this person always had to be like in an energy, like a, like a serious type of energy. This person didn't know how to have... Fun. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when they met you, you probably had like a very like childlike energy and you like brought a lot of childlike feelings to this person or you made this person feel like a child again. They was like, uh-uh. It's like, I got to get tough. Got to get tough. I can't sit up here and be acting like no damn kid and shit like that. So I feel like this person, they wouldn't allow themselves to just be free with you, Scorpio, because this is someone who just hid their emotions inside. So if you, if you guys get a chance, check out that song by Music. Like I say, read all the lyrics to the song, but this is just the part that stood out to me because I feel like, you know, with your twin and possibly even with you guys, you know, when it came to your twin and this connection, it was like you possibly did not want your twin, you know, you didn't want to be vulnerable with them. And your twin that also did not want to be vulnerable with you. So maybe this is one of the lessons that both of you guys had to learn on this journey with how to be vulnerable with each other. Let's do a one more song here. What message do you have for my Scorpios today on this twin flying journey? Then we have Aerosmith, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. So this talks about, in this song he says, and I just want, and I just want to love you or be with you in this moment forever. 
So it talks about your twin not being able to sleep. They can't think. They can't do anything because they don't want to miss anything that involves being with you or being anything that involves you being in love with you at this moment so this talks about you know this could this talks about i feel like the separation between twins and it was like when you're separated from your twin there's a lot of things that's going on because you're not communicating with this person you know and so i feel like your person feels like they've missed so much with you during this separation it was like they want to live in this moment forever so i feel like if you guys reunite with your twin or if your twin comes back to you it's like they're going to want to live in that moment forever because they could have felt like you know during this separation or life without you it was like they just feel like they miss everything so it's like now this person actually gets a chance to see what could have happened in this connection it was like they just want to live in this moment forever they don't want to miss they don't even want to sleep you guys scorpio your twin does not want to sleep because they feel like they're going to miss something because now this person knows how to love you have taught this person i feel like when you had to pull back your energy and when you set boundaries with this person that was something that they didn't know nothing about this person knew nothing, didn't know nothing about boundaries that's why they treated you guys the way they treated you but it's like when you pulls your energy back when you set boundary with this person when you let this person know that you cannot treat me the way that you treat me i don't give a damn how much i love you how much i'm into this connection you're going to respect me and you're going to treat me you know with respect so i feel like you doing that you also taught this person how to love you scorpio because this person did not know how to love because however they were taught to love in the past it was fucked up so you doing the things that you did, Scorpio, when you elevated and you started learning your self-worth and your self-love, when you start loving yourself, you also taught your twin how to love you as well. And that's why this person does, they want to live in this forever moment with you guys because this person realized they missed out on so much because of how they treated you, because of their past, because they were not allowing themselves to be vulnerable, because this person had too much pride. They're realizing all that fucked up shit they had going on. And now this person... They just want you to be there forever, Scorpio. <sighs> all right, you guys. That's all I have for you. I hope something here has resonated with someone out there or explained this twin flame journey even better through these messages through music. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, twins, stay blessed.